Nobody expects to get hit by lightning twice. Sandra Hodgelow lives on a peaceful corner in Winnipeg Beach, a quiet life with her husband and not so quiet dogs, a place to relax after 10 years of uncertainty. My symptoms were so severe, um, I, couldn't, I couldn't deny it like I knew it had to be cancer. Hodgelow was diagnosed with stage four B-cell lymphoma in 2015, after months of debilitating pain in her back. After six months of chemotherapy, her tumor was gone. I was so positive that, that I had overcome it because so much, so much time had passed. But eight years later, the same pain and the same fear. And when I got those results back with stage four cancer again, It was it was inconceivable at that time because I thought I had already survived it and why me and But her second diagnosis came with new hope. Cancer Care Manitoba determined she met the criteria for chimeric antigen receptor or CAR T cell therapy. She would be the first to be treated this way in Manitoba. CAR T cell therapy is a cancer treatment that uses a patient's own cells. First, immune cells, or T cells, are taken from the patient. Then, the cells are sent to a facility that modifies them to attract and kill cancer cells. The frozen cells are then returned, and the patient undergoes treatment to lower the number of normal T cells in their body. Then, the modified ones are reintroduced. It's a process Dr. David Schweitzer with Cancer Care Manitoba likens to a blood transfusion. We think there's a proportion of those people that are definitely cured of their, of their cancer. And so that's really changed the paradigm in the treatment of this type of disorder. About seven people in Manitoba have been treated so far, and CAR T cell therapy is also being explored to treat other diseases, with the hope a manufacturing site can one day operate in Winnipeg. I think there will be a, a significant increase in the number of potential patients who would be eligible for this type of treatment in the coming decade. Right now, the therapy is expensive and the eligibility criteria are strict. And while it's not a cure-all, Dr. Schweitzer says it's one of many tools to improve the lives of cancer patients. I'm one minute closer to death than I was a minute ago. And that's true of all of us. And I don't think my goal necessarily is to cure people, but to provide them the best care that I can and to make sure that they and their families are supported through their illness. And for people like Sandra Hodgelow, a second chance. She learned Wednesday that her treatment worked and she's cancer free once more. That's what my heart needed to hear. Iris Dick, Global News.